out of the hands? No, sir. They say he held on to it. James Williams. Man, was he hit. I thought he, when he came down, juggled the football and hit the turf, but James Williams was just an excellent catch. That's that was not an game. excellent catch. That was a miraculous grab by Williams. He all but lost control, but he used the helmet to secure the ball. Watch. He's hit there. And look, and it's on the helmet, and he was able to hold on to it. That's an amazing play, and Landrum looks on and said, how does he do it? How could he hold the ball? Fresno State watched the throw. Has the time. And what a catch at the 45-yard line. Ron Jenkins. yards and a first down. Great concentration. And seeing the ball into his hands all the way was Jenkins looking back, beating double team coverage. But look at that. That's a beautiful sight and a magnificent grab by Jenkins. Right. Bushell from the shotgun. He is hit as he throws. The pass is out there. And what a catch at the 28-yard line. The clock will run out, and that is the end of the first half. A tremendous catch by Ronnie Jenkins. Concentration again. It's a great throw, but Jenkins couldn't get out of bounds, so the clock expires. Backs divided behind Telfer out of the shotgun. He fires, and it's caught by Bart Lesky, the tight end. At 6-5, a large target for Dave Telford. They don't often go to Bartleski. He is more of a blocking tight end. Craig Jones, the reserve tight end, catches more passes. But a nice one here by Bartleski. Again, they split Bartleski out two yards. They force Ryan Rasnick to play man-to-man -man coverage. Bart showing a blitz. And here it comes. Barsotti under pressure, throws it deep. Jones is out there, makes a marvelous catch at the 15-yard line. Barsotti could only put it there because Craig Jones was so well covered. And Jones is showing those great hands that we've seen all year long. What about the protection? Look at perfect pocket protection. And how do you like this when you have a tight end that can go down and do that? Craig Jones, he's been really used as a split end in this game. And he's out there isolated one-on-one. -on -one. This is a straight fly pattern by the big guy going on the outside. And he makes a sprawling, brilliant catch to give the Bulldogs an excellent scoring opportunity. The protection, he's throwing long. Dwight Pickens, first down in San Jose State Territory. Well, Barsotti dropped back. Looked like it was all go patterns and just laid it up for Pickens. I don't know if he really had to die for this ball, Kevin. I think if he had kept running, he might, might have, have run right underneath it. Maybe been gone. Barsotti, plenty of time, looking deep. He wants to go deep for the home run. Has the man out there. It is caught by Pickens, out of bounds. <laughs> 52 yards in pregame. We talked big plays and the game breaker, and that's the guy we highlighted. Watch 27, Leo Porter, not aware of where Dwight Pickens is. He thinks he's got an easy pick, just like a punt. But Dwight Pickens does a great job of going up and getting the ball. Leo Porter, that would have, that's one that he should have been, been able to defend, but a great athletic play by Dwight Pickens. Back and now he will break from that fullback position and operate as an off back to the right side. Stephen Shelley goes in motion. Barsotti to throw. Downfield, man open, caught by Stephen Shelley. Barsotti starting to find that range a little bit after the 50-yard, 55-yard touchdown pass earlier. He hadn't done too much. Here, the 25-yard completion to Shelley. Lots of time. Isn't it amazing how well a quarterback throws when he gets a little bit of time to throw? And there's a great catch. The fade in the end zone. Reigns in the 
pass for the Fresno State. May have just entered the big time. Setback, trip receivers to the left side. Dilford looking for it. It is caught at the two yard line. Titus Wyman. just concentrates on this football because it's not a well-thrown ball. You can see that Dilfer didn't step forward. But look at Wynich just concentrate on that football. Look it in. And watch Dilfer. This may be his best pass of the day. Falling backwards, he throws that football with delivery. Colorado, three wide receivers in now. The blitz coming. Dilfer gets rid of it. And what a grab by Daigle. Oh, he showed the heart of a lion into the teeth of the zone to hang on. Gain of 27. Play was set up by Dilfer again. Fake the draw. Slid him through the middle and let him perfectly. You talk about hitting the seam. Watch this. All right, they fake the draw straight ahead. Come back. Number two, the left hand of your screen is Daigle. Watch this. Right in between the two defenders. Threads it nicely in that seam. They put it down on the one. Now, I think his, his weakness will be the team that he goes to in the NFL. David going deep. Rodney right open. Touchdown! I think wherever David Carr goes in the NFL, he should lobby to take a guy like Rodney Wright along with him. Wright maybe doesn't measure up NFL-wise, only five feet, nine inches tall. But that catch right there, the poise to catch it on your fingertips and still have the agility to get in the end zone. And he's a tough runner after the catch. He backs now against his spread offense we're seeing. Third and 14, Pinnaker going up top, looking for DeAndre Gilbert. He's got it! DeAndre Gilbert complete! Gilbert down the sideline! And Gilbert inside the five! What a catch! By the junior from Fresno, DeAndre Gilbert. 68-yard catch and run, coach. What can you say? This is a chance. This is just a, a, a great example of the, of the wide receiver being better than the defensive back. He just great hand-eye coordination, a well-thrown pass. But give the credit right there to, to Gilbert, number 87. Tetuan never found the football. Reed did. Tetuan never turned his head to find the ball. Reed is is a guy that he's not only a good tight. They flex him. I mean, he's he's basically lined up as a, as a wide receiver. Sorry, right here. And as he gets down the football field, Tetuan never turns his head to find the football. Back. Play action. Second TD, Pam. Mark Wood had one earlier, but they law you to sleep. Fresno does. They're in control. I'm sorry, it was their first touchdown reception by Mark Wood, but they law you to sleep with the running game. Pinnaker sees his free safety, comes off the free safety. No one covers him going vertically down the field. There is in a very good receiving running back. He's kept in for protection. Pinnaker looking in the end zone. Down. Jerron Fairman on fourth down makes his first catch of the game, and it is huge. What, what Paul Pinnaker didn't do last play was stay alive in the pocket. On fourth down, you have no more downs. Quarterback. 
but he stayed alive. He stays alive in the pocket, but our receiver goes down in the back of the end zone. And I think he stepped out of bounds and then came back inbounds, but Pinnaker stayed alive in the pocket. Or he stumbles in the back line, and he's the first one that comes back in and catches the football, but McDonald, that was huge. run if they want to go play action and get deep early. There's the play action and they are going to go deep early. Aaron Gibson is there on the covers but it's taken away by Paul Williams. Now we told you he's going to have to stretch the defense and keep that duck defense honest and he burst him. And what happened on this play is that Paul Williams just went over the top and took the ball from number five Aaron Gibson. Aaron Gibson had excellent position inside but Paul Williams just went over the top and decided the ball was his. Nearly even on the run pass to left. Vinegar, he wants it all. Going deep into the corner. Gibson's there. Caught! Where are they going to mark it? Touchdown, Fresno State. Paul Williams. Thirty-six yards on the touchdown reception. What an outstanding catch by Williams. And the reason this is set up is they're able to run the football. And one of the notes I have on my sheet here comes back from our meeting with Frank Signetti, the offensive coordinator. Remember what he said? Mm -hmm. Get your best players on the field and let them make plays. Vinegar looking, throwing deep, has a man. It's a 15-yard line, a circus catch again by Jamison. And where did they go with the football? This is not a criticism of Jackie Bates. This is just reality. When you come into the game and you're the guy who hasn't been out yep. there and tested much, they're going to test you. Fifth penalty on Fresno State. Brand Stater going to go downfield. What a catch inside the five by Ajera Tutu. Down at the two-yard line. Boy, Ajera Tutu has great leaping ability. He's 6'3 and a big receiver at 210 pounds. Junior out of El Dorado Hills, California. But he gets a nice outside release, but nothing on him. Jason McCourty, you've got to at least get a bump. Mantras out there and something they take pride in representing the Valley. First pass in a while. Brand Stater into coverage. Caught! Touchdown Fresno! Oh my! Marlon Moore plucked it out of midair after it had been batted around and takes it in for the touchdown. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And Marlon Moore was lucky there, a 38-yard touchdown play. And it starts with the protection up front. The offensive line step, look at it. He's pumping three times, trying to figure out where to go with the football. Trying to get it to his fullback out up the right side on a wheel route. Play call. And look at that happy man. That's Willie Harper, his father, 
the former Nebraska Cornhusker watching his son score here at Memorial Stadium to bring Fresno State within two. They're going to go for two and try and tie this one up. First down, Carr, time, Harper has got it! A one-handed touchdown catch for Josh Harper! 27 yards, a spectacular play for Fresno State! Wow! First down, Carr, sideline, Adams makes a catch! Devontae Adams is in! It's another Fresno State touchdown from 32 yards out! His third touchdown catch of the day! <laughs> Eat a dinosaur, that, those are uh, fierce things with great speed. That's down the sideline, battle there. Oh, laying out is Jordan with a catch. What an effort. There was contact, then there was separation, and then there was a great catch. Wow, excellent job going up, finding the ball despite the contact, bringing it in, turning his body so the ball doesn't hit the ground. Pass options, Fresno State has done all they can tonight. McBerry goes up top and he's got a receiver open and what a great catch by Jordan. What a way to lay out. 37 yards, a little strong with the throw or else he's still running, but just watch what a tremendous job you get from Jordan here. On second and 10. A nice catch is made by Keyshawn Johnson, staying on his feet, still on his feet. And finally they blow the whistle. Darnay Holmes couldn't pull him to the ground. That'll go for 23 yards. Every other receiver, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. They want to get Keyshawn Johnson singled up. Holmes is a smaller receiver, but great back shoulder throw. Really good catch and just fighting, just fighting into the whistle blown. But you have to get him down. You don't want him to get those extra yards. If so instead of first and goal, Keyshawn Johnson goes up for that one to make the catch. Six catches, 74 yards for Keyshawn Johnson. Marion gets hit as he releases it and his wide receiver Jordan is able to bring it down Jameer Jordan against Darnay Holmes and it's the man wearing the red one Everyone's coming McMarion throws deep in the sideline and it's caught there Keyshawn Johnson elevates and makes the grab at the 18-yard line. Great job by Keyshawn Johnson on the outside, stepping on the defender's toes, and then great ball location. You got a 6-2 receiver on the outside. DB's not looking. You're taught to throw it right at the DB's head. Two in the backfield, including Rivers. Rice with a chip. Reyna gets away. Down the field. It is caught. Are you kidding me? Chris Coleman again! Are you kidding me? That catch was better than the one he made earlier. High points it, takes it away from Greg Johnson. Wow. 36 yards on fourth and ten for Coleman. Ainer lets it go. How about that? Is that a catch? Yes, it's ruled a catch by Kelly. Well, oh, he just runs a widened go route, and Churchwell never gets his eyes to see the ball. He plays it pretty well. On first down, Hayter from the goal line. Wants Kelly, deep ball, caught by Kelly, comes back, grabs it in front of Dallas Branch. What a play by Josh Kelly. 
And it's a huge pickup for Fresno State. Dean on first down, airs it out, sideline, and it's caught by Gill for the touchdown. Had to come back to the ball. 42 yards. Pump the end zone and Freeman again. What a kid. And the first touchdown of the day. Third down, goal to go. Keen to pass back in the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. Eric Brooks with a tremendous catch. And Fresno State has the lead.